Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I'm taking a look at the Movavi Video Converter 2020. Now, if you're looking at to convert some files, uh, maybe from audio or video or images, or maybe you want to pull just audio from a video, uh, make some easy GIFs, this could be a great program for you to use. So I'm just gonna go over some of these great features, uh, show you how easy it is to use them in this video today. This program is made by the same developer that I did a review on the Movavi video editor that I recommended for people just starting uh, to edit video. So if you want to take a look at that, I'll put the link in the card above or in download in the uh, description too. But so one of the things I really like about this uh, uh, video converter by Movavi here, the premium one, is how easy it is to use. So I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough and I have some files. And I'm just going to start uh, to do some conversions. So I'm going to be dragging them over into this area here. This is where you're going to start with the original file and then you can see all the different things that you can convert it to. There's actually over 180 formats that you can choose from and if you're thinking about the different devices and platforms, they have about 200 of those that you you can convert to. So if you look, uh, if I just go through, these are the popular ones. I'm not going to go through them all, but you can get an idea with what you see. Uh, these are for video. We have our devices here. Uh, you can see all the different devices and we have our audio formats and images. Uh, what I like is this little, if you don't know what, uh, you know, what your device needs or what type of conversion, if you plug in your device and your computer, it will detect it and it will show you uh, and you just have to pick what model and it will know then you'll know uh, what you want to convert it to because then it will change the output format here. When you have everything all set, you just hit convert. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually just start with something simple like an image. Now, uh, I just have this image here. It's a JPEG, took it on my phone. I'm just going to drag it over. Now I could hit the plus and go find it, but this is super easy like this. I drop it over and you can see this is a JPEG. Uh, I don't want to convert this to an MP4, but that's what I have already selected down here and I can change that. I actually wanted to change it to a different uh, uh, file extension for an image. Now I could go and you can see the different options that I have. I'm just going to change it to a PNG, select this and it changes up here. And you can see down here now the output format is the PNG on here. If I hit the little gear, uh, you can see how I can uh, adjust it here also. Do I want it at the original size or change it? I'm just leaving it as the original size on this one, but you can make those adjustments. Uh, the other thing I like about this, uh, notice that it is sideways. Well, I don't want this picture to be uh, in that format, so I'm going to hit edit. And I have this choice here. So I do have uh, you have from crop and I'll explain some of these other ones when I open up the video. But if I go ahead and rotate and apply and hit done, now um, I'm going to go ahead, ahead and hit convert. So I hit convert and it should pop open right away. I hear this sound and you can see now the file extension is PNG. I can go ahead and open it and I have the, the uh, the picture in the right orientation and I have the different file format. So it's that simple to convert. So let's try a couple other things here. Uh, let's go with uh, this one right here. So I'm going to actually I can get rid of these or I could add more if I want. I'm just going to close this one out and bring this one over. So this is just a uh, little video clip of my boys at the same hockey game here. I, I'm going to go over to edit because I know it's on its side still. This time, I want to take this little clip and uh, turn it into an animated GIF. So again, I could go through different things here, but right now I'm just going to leave it at the rotate and hit done. I'm going to choose GIF here and you can see I can pick the different sizes. I'll just go, uh, I'm going to go medium on this one and I can see if I wanted to adjust it with the gears, I can go through and make those adjustments to it. But I'm going to leave it as that and I'm going to hit convert and it runs through quickly like that. I have it. Here's my GIF. I open it up. I'll just move this over here and you can see this is just a GIF now, um, not the video that it started off with. So these things are very, very, very quickly to do. Just uh, drag it over, put it in the right spot and then hit convert on it. But uh, let's try a few more things here too. So uh, I'm, I'll close out of this one again and I'm going to grab this one and drag it over 
And this time I just want to kind of show you some of the edit features on this one that what you can do to a uh, video. So if I hit edit and I've already showed you how you can convert it to GIF, I could pick many different ones. But before you convert it, you can go through and make adjustments to it. So if I wanted to go to stabilization, maybe you have a shaky clip and you wanted to fix the stabilization, you can go through, uh, you can see from shaking and accuracy on it. Uh, then you just go ahead and apply it audio if you wanted to adjust uh, the audio adjustments to maybe make things sound more clear uh, you can bring it to it, make it more intense or bring it down normalize volume or even remove the noises so you can go through uh, noise level where you can adjust that to uh, depending on whatever you want just drag the slider to what you want and you can always hit before and after to see the difference and hit the play down here, then you can kind of see what what type of difference it is making. Uh, adjustments, I'm not gonna apply those last ones. The adjustments are these quick ones, like for, uh, you know, you could make your brightness change. Again, there's a reset here, so you can quickly put it back. Uh, but you, if there is anything you need to do to uh, maybe make the image look a bit better, we have some effects very easy to use. If you want it like a vignette, you can click on it and you can see how it's added to it. Uh, we have subtitles, so if you added subtitles that you, as a file, you could upload it or find them on the internet. Uh, you could go through here, to choose the file um, on it, but I don't have any subtitles for this one, uh, but you can see the different options that you can have for those ones. We can watermark it very quickly. You just write whatever you want. So if I was writing hockey, I can adjust this on the screen. I can change my fonts, uh, the fill on it, uh, but I don't need a watermark on this. I'm just gonna point out some of the options that you do have. We have crop. So if you needed to zoom up on a certain area, if I drag this over and hit after, you can see what it's gonna look like. If I go before, maybe I wanna zoom up a little bit more on a certain area and then I can see it again. And if that's the shot I want, I can hit apply. And then I'm gonna show you with rotate. We've already talked about that a little bit more if I didn't need to rotate it. But trim's a handy thing to have. So if you needed to try even trim from the middle, so if you just have to move the in and outs to where you want, if I needed a chunk out of the middle, where it's yellow, select it so I would grab these and get to a certain area. You can see right now it's at 19 seconds. I hit delete and now, um, I'm just gonna hit don't show again. I'll close this one. But now I'll just close that one and that so you can see it's shorter. So I could take off a big chunk from the beginning. I could do it from the end, hit the delete. And now I'm down to eight seconds. Uh, and then when everything would be done, I can go ahead and hit done. And then I'm all ready just to convert it again to whatever. So is it a different video that I, a format that I want? Do I wanna turn it into a GIF? And then I just hit convert and then it's done again. So the last thing I wanna show you today, oh, by the way, the uh, link for this, I'll put the links uh, to this. If you wanna test this out, there is a seven day uh, trial for this. If you're interested, use the coupon code down below uh, on it, but test it out uh, for the seven days to see if this is something that uh, you'd be interested in. So the last thing I wanna show you is with uh, this video right here. So if maybe you just wanna pull out audio from a video, so maybe it's a song from a video. Uh, this is just one of my videos, and maybe I just want the transcripts if I've recorded something or turn it over into a podcast and I just want the MP3. Now I can just go to audio, so this is a video I put in, and I can click MP3, and you can go through and pick uh, which one uh, you want. I'll just keep there, and then I can go ahead and convert it. You can see how quickly it's converting it over here. I'll get that sound again when it's done. There it is. And there's my MP3 file. I can open it up and I'll just Hi hit. There, Jamie Key here tonight at Teachers Tech. We'll so that was just one of my videos that now is just an MP3 file that I pulled it out. So yeah, those are just some of the things that this program can do for you. Uh, very easy to use. All the links and the discount code down below. So check it out. Um, check out if you're interested in the other video editor too that I've done the video on. Uh, but uh, thanks for watching this week on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.